it is yet another brand new week and I thought for this episode I talk a bit about how to use your creativity to decorate your house without spending a lot of money and still making it very special. So these are my three ways to spice up your house without digging into your pockets. So the first way is to go to like the 97 stores and all the thrift stores and I mean the garage sales and the farmers market and wherever you can go because you know what you don't really need to spend a lot of money to your house you can get really cute little uh little bowls and um put some like some orange wrap paper in the bottom to like spice it up or you can go to cents and get those fun like cents cauldrons and use that for your candy to hide put the candy outside and just buy some reusable lights and twirl it around your banister and go to Amazon and buy 99 cents posters you use every year. Like, you know. So, yeah, my tip number one is go to the places where you wouldn't expect to find tall and stuff because you'll find some great bargains and you'll be able to use your creativity to definitely start this up your house. Um, my number two idea is remember that little things come in big quantities for great prices. So, yeah, don't look at the big, fun, expensive, uh, decorations because you know what you can get smaller decorations for decor a lot more space but more decorated for probably less price so yeah make sure number two to don't look all the flashy fun decorations that they'll have a lower place in the front go to the back where the hidden so yeah that is my tip number two and my tip number three my last tip is make sure buy all your stuff for the end make sure you go at the very last bit to all your home stuff um, even though they won't always have the best selection, they'll have the cheapest selection. Um, but make sure not to wait too close to the end because then all this good stuff will definitely be gone. Um, and get me in mind when you buy your stuff for that year, make sure it's that you're gonna buy you're buying good quality stuff that could last for three, four years, so you don't have to keep buying every single year new stuff. Um, try not to go for a big flash stuff because usually that stuff will break. Um, and um, make sure also if you're going to buy stuff that you know you're gonna use next year buy things you want for next year as well during that time period because that's when they have the good deals and you don't want to keep going back every single year at the end of the year when all the good stuff will be gone anyway um because that way you get to save up some money after you buy all your stuff next year and you have a set and that way with the extra money you at least have some idea what you want to get for the year next year and you could buy it more in the middle rather than the end so it's a better selection Make sure as always to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vine under Teresa Bay. Um, make sure to the comments come in this video as well as my past videos and make sure to leave anything Halloween related in the comments down below and let me know what you guys think I should be for Halloween as well as um, what you guys are going to be and question week as always is what is your biggest fear? Anyway, I think that's pretty much it for now. I'll see you guys in the bye saying vlog. Okay, bye! Thank you.